Catholic Church, bless yourself. The largest house in town. All right, so we just had a nice time in a church, parrot, uh, the, uh, the, the hall, and it's a once a month feast that they have, and I never did that. I've only been ever here once, and it was at a funeral, my beautiful friend's husband. And now we're gonna go to Adoration and see Jesus and spend time with him, with our new friends. Whoa, it is not easy, okay, life. Thank God, God is with us, okay? Yes, we deserve just punishment for the sins of Adam and Eve, for they were passed down and God said that he would, we would all have to suffer. This is why we have eyebrows, you know. It is, it's to catch the sweat from our hard work. So, all night long, I'd like to say hello, but I'm kind of frantic at the moment. I'm feeling much better. But it was, it was in the middle of the night, like from 1.30 to 4.30, I could not sleep because it was so windy. And my area, when it gets windy, we lose power. And when we lose power and my sub pump is going crazy with the water, oh my gosh, I'm in this huge panic, especially like at night, okay? Who wants to go outside, out there at three, four in the morning, in the dark, in the storm, in the wind, with the snow falling like that. Anyway, so all of a sudden I saw the lights flickering and I'm like, oh, here we go. I ran upstairs to get Seth. I woke him up and I'm like, please, can you come downstairs and sleep down there with me? And so we did. And, um, and then, thank God, nothing happened in the nighttime. But at 8 o'clock in the morning, his fan went off and I'm like said let's go so well, let me show you so there was all snow on my tarp here which covers my my bulkhead because it leaks so I gotta get that fixed and then see this blue thing right here that's my generator and thank god I know how to run a generator okay and so I said Sethi get the snow and everything off and open up the bulkhead. And I already had the cord at the stairs of it all. And so I had to go unplug the thing and um, the sub pump. And I had to plug it into this long cord that I bought, which is beautiful. I, it's just for this, nothing else uses it except for the sub pump. And I got the generator, or uh, Sethi. I could not get it, like actually started with the pulley thing. And um, so I said my Hail Mary, and I know that St. Joseph flies. Oh, wow, Mr. Kitty is just spazzing out. Look at him. Mr. Kitty, are you okay? It's all right, honey. Oh, yeah. And so I prayed a whole rosary, which I normally do. There goes a squirrel. And, and Sarah woke up, and she prayed, and that's when it went on. And it's just like, I put everything back to normal. I don't want to leave yet. I need to go and get a prescription. So 
So my mission, now that I have a new roof, my next mission is some small projects around the house, but the main thing is I have got to have a beautiful system for um, the sub pump. I just can't take it. I cannot grow old in this house. I love my house, but if I couldn't get something squared away, I want to get another sub pump. I want to have two. And more than a battery connected over there, I think I'd rather put the money to one of the big generators. You ever see them outside? The big, huge box costs a lot of money, but Mr. Are you okay? It's okay. You want to hug and kiss Nana? Can you guys see him way out there? You want to hug and kiss? Come on. It's okay, honey. And then I feel bad. I got to go get a prescription, but I don't even want to leave him alone. Come on. It's okay. Can you guys see him? Do you want to hug and kiss Nana? I'll hold you. He's very, very afraid of. Come on. Mr. Mr. Always laying down. Come over here with Nana. I don't like it. So what I did was I made sure everything was, was in working order. I put everything. I put my shoes. I put my coat. I put my socks, like my gloves. Anything that I knew that I needed, I put it there. I, I have my gasoline. I had to go make a run to do that. There's the mister. Are you okay? Are you all right? My cat is just freaking out. Yesterday was the saddest thing. He he took a really deep sigh and he went <sighs> like that. And I looked it up. It says that they feel anxious when they do that. It's okay, honey. It's all right, honey. Honey, mister? He's on guard like Nana. <laughs> That's how I feel. Are you okay? You want to say hi to your fans? Do you? He's too looking around and everything. He has the clock. You have the clock, honey? He goes, clock, Mr. Kitty. I always make noises and I teach him what it is. Okay. You want to go in the mudroom now? Okay. Go ahead. Look. Look how clean it is, everybody. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. There's the snow. See it? Snow, Mr. Kitty. Snow. You see the squirrel? Oh, that's what it is. You got to have everything in working order. I didn't have it last night, but I'm going to leave that cord out there while there's a, a, a storm of any kind. That's what I'll do from now on. And I put a, a plastic bag around it with, um, with an elastic band. But I'm going to keep it out there. When I know there's a storm coming, we could lose electricity. That's the smartest thing I think I could have done. Like I, you know what I mean? Never mind waiting and then all oh, you gotta go hook this up and I gotta get the thing off the bulkhead and just have it ready to roll, you know? For now, I just can't stand it, it's awful. <laughs> you know, I think cheese is a calmer. Uh-huh. I took a bite and I instantly took a deep breath. <laughs> Be careful you don't choke. Mm hmm You know? To me, I'm glad I know how to keep afloat in a lot of things. Now that my husband is not here. For those of you that don't know, he passed away. Almost five years ago. I can't believe it. How is it possible that I have not seen Mr. Fry in five years? I didn't like being away from him for five minutes. <laughs> not even kidding. Um, yeah. But I will say that I believe. You know what I believe? I believe that what I am enduring and taking on all this stuff, don't care what anybody has to say about it, I think it's a man's job. Women definitely should know how to do it. But it's like, you know, a, a man definitely, don't mind my dirty dishes, a man could definitely take care of a, a child, but a woman comes along 
with the heart. She comes along with a lot of tenderness. Men can be tender, but naturally it's the woman who comes with the, with the, with the, with the heart of it all and the tenderness and the more mercy. And I'm not saying men can't have these things, but it's like a natural, whoa, Mr. Kitty, watch out for the coffee. You gotta eat that, Mr. Mister. He doesn't wanna eat his food that I gave him. Um, eat, Mr. Kitty. <sighs> Mister, you gotta eat, honey. He's looking at all the dishes. You feel a little better now? A little calmer, honey? Do you? You feel a little calmer, honey? It's okay. But I, I, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like women are, the, the Bible even says that. So the thing is, it is not natural to want, no matter how much I know how to do something, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> no matter how much I can do something, I find it to be a man's job. I don't want to be doing this, but I have to, and I want to only because the Lord wants me to. I wanted to show reality is that I'm giving my daughter her chemo. It's every night for another year, and it's like, you know, you try to be a pleasant person in general, but the reality is that even though my cat's causing craziness in the living room, Mr. Kitty, even though you try to be a pleasant person and you do your best, it doesn't mean that you don't struggle. So I want to let you know that, yes, I am struggling at the moment because I'm like, I'm giving this to her and I'm like, am I, is this really going on? I don't know why it just takes so long. Even after all of this, I'm going to probably say, did we really just go through all that? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sitting here going, is this really happening? And then I'm like, I, later on, it's going to be like that. It's going to, I mean, if you could only see what's on the stinking labels. It, it's like, are we serious here? Let me show you. I don't like it. All right, just look. Uh-huh, kind of little drug. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that. It's like, are we really going through this? Like, is this really happening? I mean, God's will for sure, you know? I'm just saying, it's like, wow. I, I just can't seem to get the reality. Is this really going on? Like, are you seriously, did you really have cancer? She doesn't have it now. And I'm just saying, did you really have it? And why? And are you really taking chemo? Like, seriously? <laughs> I'm just trying to make you see that it hurts. It hurts, the thought of it hurts. You know what I'm saying?